गुड डे टू ऑल ऑफ यू कंप्यूटर शिक्षा इज सपोर्टेड बाय एज ऑल ऑफ यू नो टूडे यू विल अपियर फॉर अ प्रैक्टिकल टेस्ट ऑन राइटर थ्री मॉड्यूल इन दिस प्रैक्टिकल टेस्ट यू विल बी आस्क क्वेश्चन एंड यू विल शो प्रैक्टिकली द आंसर्स ऑन योर कंप्यूटर्स लेट एस फर्स्ट गेट टू नो द रूल्स फॉर दिस टेस्ट This is a practical test in which you will be asked about some options one by one, and you will need to practically show how you can use them. This test is going to be for forty-five minutes. For all the questions that you will be asked, you will be shown the right answer afterwards, so that you can match your answer with the same. you can check if your answer was correct or not and can then correct your answers now all of you switch on your computers and after watching the method in the video open the writer file let us now begin the test first draw the table being shown to you have you all been able to draw the table now show how will you use the formula to add up the given numbers after totaling show to your teacher if you face a problem watch the video let us now watch this video and see the correct method to get the sum of the students marks so you already have the total column bring your cursor to the first cell second row in the totals column because we have to add these numbers look for the equal to sign on your keyboard press that and then type sum which is for addition the formula then bracket open and then select the numbers that you want to add so you want to add the marks of abc person for english hindi maths select all three close the bracket uh you just press enter you don't even have to do anything else and you get the total marks here come to the next cell in the total column again equal to sum bracket open and then select the three marks that you want to add press enter and you get the total marks come to the third candidate the third name and the third place cell in the total column where you want the total again equal to sum bracket open and then select the three marks note that a mistake was being made because the class was included so you can just click here and do a backspace go back and select the correct marks correct cells which you want to add press enter and you get the sum for the third candidate also once again for the fourth student in the last cell of this table we need the total of their his marks so we click there we are repeating the same function we have to type equal to then sum bracket open watch in the video and then select the marks 70 70 and 56 press enter and you get the total of all the marks now this is how the correct answer is you can correct your answer check your answer against this and correct it also now show how will you apply a design on your table show the same 
to your teacher. If you face a problem, watch the video. Again, this is optional. Let us now see the correct method to apply a design on our table. So, to apply a design on our table, click on the table and go to the table menu. From here, select auto format. As soon as you click on auto format option, sub menu, you can see that a box opens and there are many formats available from which you can select the one which you like. You can scroll up and down and when you click on any of these formats, you can see a preview in the preview window what kind of a design this will be. When you select the one which you like, you can click on OK. Click on the OK button and that design will get applied to your table. So, this is how you are supposed to use the auto format option to apply a design on your table. Watch this video, check your answer against it and correct your answer. Next, save your document and then convert it to the PDF format. After saving, show it to your teacher. If you face any difficulty, then watch the video to correct your answer. This video will help us to understand the correct method to save a file and also to change it to PDF format. So, for this, take your pointer to the file menu, click on the save option, a box opens which gives you the location on your computer where you want to save. You should know where you want to save it. Also, there is a place for typing the file name, type the file name and we have selected document as the place where we want to save it. Then click on save. This will save your file in documents. You can see in the title bar, the name CS12 appears, by which your file has been now saved. Now to change this into PDF, once again click on File menu and click on the Export option. When you click on Export, again a box opens showing you where you want to save the location again it is document and you can see save as type shows portable document format and we have selected document as the place where we want to save it then click on save Hence, with pdf options you do not have to make any changes here just click on the export button and your file will get exported and saved as PDF format. So, this is how you are supposed to save your file and also export it as PDF. Check your answers against this video and correct your answers. Next, show how will you bring up a new page and use the hyperlink to attach the saved file and also the PDF file. Get this checked by your teacher and watch the video to know the correct answer. Let's watch this video now and get to know the correct method to answer the question about linking files with hyperlink. We have to link the PDF file. So, first let's bring up a new text document. You can do that by either going to the file menu or by clicking on the standard toolbar, the new option. So, click there and you will have a new text document. Now, you have to insert a hyperlink here. So, click on the hyperlink option in the standard toolbar and click
click on this yellow button. This opens the file locations on your computer. You should know where your file is existing. So if you have saved it in desktop, click on desktop and then look for the file. We had saved our PDF file on the desktop in document folder. So we will open the document folder and look for the file there. Scroll down and you can see your CS123 PDF file is existing. So select that and then we need to click on the button for open option. Click on open and you can see that the path for that file has been added here in the hyperlink box click on apply and you will see that the text option shows the path of the file click on close and you can see that the hyperlink has been applied on your writer page now when you bring the cursor to this hyperlink which you have applied on the writer page it changes to a small hand to open this you need to hold the control button down and click on the left button of the mouse or touchpad. If it hasn't opened, you can see it in the taskbar. Click there and you can see that the PDF file is now available for you. So you can use the PDF file from here. So this is how you will apply a hyperlink to attach or link your PDF file on your writer sheet or writer document. Now, Go ahead and insert any object and also apply a caption to the same and show to your teacher. Let us now watch the video for the right answer and also check our answer against it. Let us see the correct method of inserting an object and then giving it a caption. So, to do this, let's Go to the drawing toolbar and select one of the tools. We have chosen the smiley. Drag it on your writer document. Drag it on your writer document to get the smiley. Now take your pointer to the insert menu and click on caption. A box opens, you can give a name for this caption or you can type the caption, whatever you want to write about this drawing or object or image, you can do that. Then you can select the category, the numbering style, the separator. So these options are there. So let's just type here the caption or the title, so to say, or something that we want to write about this drawing or object. For instance, we are writing about how this picture has been made and we are saying oval tool and curve tool is used to make this picture. So once you have correctly written what you want to see as the caption, you can also choose any of the numbering styles and separator if you want to change it. If you don't want to change it, once you are satisfied with your writing, you will just click on the OK button. And you will see that the caption gets added to your object or image or picture. As you can see in the video, The caption has come here. So this is how you will correctly insert an object and write the caption. You can check your answer against this video and correct your answer. And then show how will you create an envelope. The envelope should be addressed to 
कंप्यूटर शिक्षा सेक्टर 55 गुड़गांव एंड यू कैन गिव एनी एड्रेस एज द सेंडर्स एड्रेस शो दिस टू योर टीचर एंड देन वॉच द वीडियो एंड करेक्ट योर आंसर वॉच दिस वीडियो टू नो द करेक्ट मेथड टू इंसर्ट एन एनवलप on your writer page so to insert an envelope let's first take a new page or new document writer document then take your pointer to the insert menu bar so that we can insert an envelope here look for the envelope option click on that and a box opens which has envelope format printer as the options by default envelope should be selected or you can select the envelope option here you can see the address to whom you want to send this envelope needs to be typed in our case it has already been typed there computer shiksha g576 gurgaon so this is the address to whom you want to send and there is also the sender's address you can see there is uh, an option for database you can select the database from there and then if you click on format you can change the format you can change the address position for the sender as well as the size of the envelope so it can be user defined or you can give the format of it you can define from the format which type of envelope you want to use or you can self define the width and the height of the envelope and then you click on insert after making the necessary changes and you will see that the envelope gets inserted on your writer page it has both the address to whom you are sending this which is computer shiksha g576 and the sender's address which is computer shiksha sector 55 next so how will you apply mail merge also use mail merge to create a format for a letter get this check from your teacher if you have any doubts then watch the video and then apply the correct method let us now watch this video and learn the correct method of using mail merge to use mail merge we need to take our pointer to the menu bar click on the tools menu and click on mail merge so you will get the mail merge wizard and the first option is selected select starting document for the mail merge you have to define which document you want to send using mail merge if you want to send the current document just click on next and it will go to the next step the wizard will show the next step what type of document you want to create a letter or an email message since we want to create letter we just click on next next step says insert the address block so you can either select the addresses from a list which is the first option and you can say that this document the letter that you are creating should have an address block which is the second option and there are many options here match the field name used in the mail merge if you select the addresses from an address list you can select from already existing addresses or if you want to add a new address you will click on the create button here and a box opens here you can give a title for the person you can say mr or ms or if you want you can just give a small abbreviation like cs for computer shiksha type in the first name 
in our case we are typing computer last name shiksha generally it will be a person's first name and a person's last name then the company name and address line one we are typing sector 55 the second address line which is sushant lok we type the city as gurgama state of haryana you can type in the information that you know make sure that you have the information which is necessary for the envelope or the letter to reach the person the other information you may or may not include you can include an email id if you have it and lastly the gender of the person is it a male or a female you can include that click on ok this box closes and you it asks you where to save this new address that you have just created so give it a file name we are saving it in document folder give it a file name and click on the save option so it gets saved and you can see that it is it has come in our address list now you can click on ok here and go to the and click on more and you will see that you can choose the address block the type of address block that you want to include in your letter from here there are settings which you can change it's up to you always include the country or region never include the country or region these are options click on ok and it gives you in the preview the address how it will appear click on next now it gives you an option of create a salutation which is like the first line hello or dear so and so that is the first line that we write in the letter so it gives you an option for that if the person is a female it will say dear ma'am if the person is a male it will say dear mr so and so and the last name then from the field names you can choose which all you need to include and you can give a general salutation like dear sir or dear madam instead of keying in the name or dear friends or just a hello so you can choose the type of greeting that you want click on the next option next step it shows you where you want the address block to come and where you want the salutation to come so you can move the salutation up and down as you can see in the preview window go to the next it shows you preview the and edit the document so you can preview and edit your document how it will appear and then you can go to personalize the mail merge documents while you are editing you can save the starting document the last one is save or print or send the document so you can save it and it will give you a location where you want to save you can give it a name a file name again we are saving it in the document and then once we have given the file name we click on save and you can see it has come back now you just have to click on finish and you can see that the letter has been created the format has been created and you can send out these documents using mail merge now create a meno with your name this meno should have options for copy cut paste save and save as show the same to your teacher watch the video for the correct answer let us watch this video and see the correct method for creating a menu with your own name so to create a menu you need to go to the tools menu click on customize because you want to customize a menu 
from the box that opens you have four options menus keyboard toolbars so we need to go to menus because we are creating a new menu then since we are creating new we click on new from the box you have to type the name of the menu you can type your own name here we are typing the menu name as cs click on ok and from it shows you a new menu then you have to add the commands so there are various categories shown for instance we have chosen edit and from edit we click on copy click on add so the copy gets added to our menu bar then we click on cut and click on add again the cut option also gets added then we go scroll down and look for other commands that we want to add for instance we want paste so we can look for paste and then click on add after selecting paste paste will also get added we also want the save option so we go to save or select all we want so we'll click on that and add that also after doing this you can close this box and you can see that four options have been added here in your menu in, in the menu that you have created new click on ok and you will see that this menu has been added you can see it in the top in the title bar and when you click there you can see the four options are available in this menu so this is how you can create a menu bar with your name or any name that you like today's class ends here so close your file and properly shut down your computers in the next class you will all appear for a written test on this module which will be conducted by computer shiksha computer shiksha is supported by thank you